Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I wanted to do some lashes in today's video. I bought the Lash by Advent Calendar and I mentioned it in a few vlogmases and stuff. I think the first two days had these guys right here, which I had no idea what they are. This said Baby Lash. So I was like, what am I going to do with these itty bitty tiny lashes? They are so tiny. I think they're like six millimeters. I thought, let me try applying it to my lower lash line. And then I went on the website to see how much they cost and turns out they are, they are actually created to be applied to the lower lash line. So that's what we're going to try in today's video. I've never tried lashes on my lower lash line so this should definitely be interesting. And I'm going to use the C curl ones and then just show you how tiny they are. A tinier lash does not exist. They're just so tiny. I have my lash fight glue here. I'm going to apply some of that glue since I'm applying them this way, yeah. So you're still applying it to the top of the spine. So if the lash curls like this, you're gonna apply it to the top of the spine. And I saw that they were 50% off on the website for like $9 or something. I usually never wear mascara as it is on my lower lash line, so this should be interesting. This is so weird. How do you pinch these together? <laughs> All right, I went ahead and did four clusters and I kind of did the last two off camera just because I was getting a little bit frustrated, I'm not gonna lie. And while it looks really cool once you're done, like you get that intense, almost like smoky eye look. So this would be really fun, I think, if you love to do like tons of eye makeup looks and you're doing this for like a photo, a video or something, or I don't know, something like along those lines. I think this concept is really great for that. Although me personally, I would probably just use mascara, but I can see how these would be nice to have, I guess you can say. When you're applying lashes on your upper lashes, you can't really see the lash band because it's kind of concealed underneath. Like you're not walking around like this and everybody can see. But with your lower lash line, you can see the entire waterline. So you have to be very particular about placement and making them blend in. Like when you're up close, really up close, you can definitely see a little bit of that band. And especially if something is not, like you don't have perfect placement, you will be able to see it. But if you're covering it up with makeup and eyeshadow, then I feel like you'll definitely be able to blend it. And I do feel them a little bit, like they're a little uncomfortable. I do feel like there's something sitting on my lower lash line and I'm not crazy about that, but I do love how thin this band is. And I feel like if Lash Fry can make all of the lashes with this thin band, then I would be more prone to using Lash Fry lashes on the daily because some of the lashes I love, like the fluffies and other volume lashes, but the bands are a little bit too stiff and rigid for my liking, like they're a little bit too structured, so sometimes they can feel a little bit pokey. I'm gonna go ahead and apply four clusters to this eye. I think I'm gonna do a few more volume lashes because right now I just have some mascara and like two C clusters, and then do a fun makeup look and show you guys the end result. All right, you guys, glammed up a bit. I almost feel like I don't even look like myself because I never wear this much eye makeup in terms of like the lashes and stuff, but let me actually zoom in a little bit to show you. I do think that it looks really awesome and super extravagant. Like once I have them on, I'm like, wow, this looks really good. Like I feel like my own lashes could not look this good like my lower lashes but at the same time i feel like they're a little bit too finicky for my liking like i can feel them a little bit and then i would have to do i would recommend doing your lower lash eyeshadow first if you're going to do this because trying to do my eyeshadow after i had them on they almost like wanted to move even though i swiped glue through my bottom lashes like mascara so that they would have the extra secure hold but i feel like they can almost come off any minute i don't trust them but they look Fabulous. Like if I had a red carpet event, I could see how makeup artists would find this really useful for like events or something. I feel like the end result just took a whole other shift and I love the end result. I just probably wouldn't do this on the daily. But I do think, like I say, you know what? You never know until you try when it comes to lashes or honestly anything. But 
kind of just wanted to do a video sharing about applying wide-end lashes for the first time because that's something that I've never tried and now that I have them on I feel like I don't want to take them off it's gonna be in my pajamas looking glam with nowhere to go on this rainy day it's like my opinion on these just took a whole 180 so I don't know like I say you never know until you try they're on sale right now for what is it let me double check I think nine dollars yeah, $9. I figured I already have them in my lash box, just wanted to give them a try. Not sure about longevity yet because I just applied them today. I'm just reading some reviews. Super cute, easy to apply. I feel like they're actually hard to apply. And I'm somebody who's been lashing for like four years. Ooh, inner corner. Yeah, this is what I would probably use it for. Like inner, 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 inner corner if you don't have a lot of lashes and your lashes are shorter. I feel like the baby lash would be really great for that. Well, that's my review. Those are my thoughts. But let me know what you guys think down below. I can see how there would be a market for these. And I'm glad I got to try them out because I was a hater, but now I feel like I really like them, so. All right, thanks for hanging out, you guys. I hope to see you in future videos. Bye.